Okay, well, welcome again to our reading of the Ocritus, Little One. <coughs> We're up to the actual main song after we've had the we've just finished with the ekphrasis, and the song consists of a number of short stanzas separated by this refrain. The refrain changes and builds up the tension in the story. There's a similar refrain we'll see in Italy too, with the Ocritus uses this technique a couple of times. So the, re the refrain begins Archetai bucolicas moisai philai archet aoidas. So begin, dear muses, begin the bucolic song, the pastoral song. Thursus, so here is Thursus. Hoax is just from hot plus X. The one from Etna. And uh, here, with this ho there, so here is Thursus from Etna. And here is the sweet, hardy upper head here, the sweet voice of Thursus. Wherever were you, uh, O nymphs, where were you, Hoka for Hote, when um, Daphnis Etaketo, this is from Taiko to melt, literally was melting, so was pining, was wasting away. Perhaps it's hard to get this one into English, but it's very key verb here. So he's wasting away. So wherever were you, where were you, O nymphs, when Daphnis was wasting away? And then we get reference to a couple of places here. Um, the point being that these places are in northern Greece, whereas um, uh, Daphnis is in Sicily. So we have A with a question. So were you on uh, Pineus, um, were you in, sorry, that's a genitive, so were you in the beautiful Tempia, the beautiful um, uh, vales or valleys of Pineus, or on Pindos? Now, um, Pindos is a mountain range in northern Greece, and the river Pineus rises in the northern part of that range. So, in other words, were you up in northern Greece? Uh, and then there's a statement, Ugar day, for you were not Ekata. This is from Echo. Um, well, you were not holding, literally. You were not um, being in the great stream. You can often use Echo and place the verb to be. So, you were not in the great um, the great stream of the river Anapus. Now this is the river that flows into the great harbour of Syracuse in Sicily. Nor the Scopian, the peak, it's the, the, the lookout place of Etna. Nor the sacred water of Achis. So Achis again is, uh, flows into the east coast of Sicily, north of Catania. And again the refrain, Archite Pocolicas Moisai Philae, Archite Aoidas. The Thoes, Thos is a jackal, this is the plural here, so the, the jackal's main, man for main indeed, and the wolves, O Rosanto, uh, these were lamenting ten on this man, and it's very beautiful. They, they re repeats the word three times. So the jack, so this man indeed the jackals, this man the wolves were lamenting, this man uh, cope for um, the chi plus ek, and the subject is the lion. So. Um, this man, the lion, was weeping for, so the lion was weeping for this man, and at the end of the line, Thanonta, dead, very emphatic, um, even from the Drumoyo, Drumos is the woods, so um, so the, the, the jackals, under, understand, were lamenting him, the wolves were lamenting him, 
and also the lions from the wood were weeping for him, him who is dead. Arkati bukolikas moi saifilai, arkati aoidas. And there were, um, now this is feminine, so this is going with the boes, these are cows. The hoi must be for auto, a dated the possessor, for him. So there were many cows beside his feet, beside the feet for him, posse from Pus, and many bulls, and uh, many heifers, and the portiers, portis is a calf, this is the plural, and the calves were lamenting him. Arkati bukolikas, moisai filai arkati aoidas. Now he has a number of visitors. So the first section of this was all about the about the nymphs. Uh, in the some of the myths, Daphnis is the son of a nymph and has connections with them. So na naturally, they come first, and then Daphnis's close connection with nature and with animals, and so they come second. And now finally, Hermes. Now again, in the myth, in some of the stories, Hermes is the father of Daphnis, and in others, it was his lover. The eighth is from Aelthe. Uh, so this is uh, the N becomes a, a, a the lambda is an N in this dialect. So eighth for Aelthe. Uh, Pratistos for Protistos. So first of all, Hermes came at Orios from, it would be Orus in Attic, from the mountain. And he said, O Daphnis, who, Catatruke, who is wearing you, who is tormenting you? Catatruco. Um, yeah, so who wears you down, who um, torments you? Um, Ogathy for O Agathy, O my good man, whom do you love to such an extent? So whom do you love so much? And again we get this lovely refrain which just keeps, keeps breaking and then building up the tension just as we get this important question we get the refrain Arkati bukolikas moi saifilai arkati aoidas. So he comes and Aenthon for Aelthon, the butai, the, uh, the ox herds, the ox herders um, came um, uh, then and the, well, toy for hoi and the shepherds came and hope. Poloi is for Hoi Apoloi, the goat herds came. And all of them, Anerotun, this is a little bit like that Anerotao in um, Attic, so all of them in, were asking him what evil thing, Pathoi, he might be suffering in Pasco. And Priapus came. Now the Kafer is from uh, it's Kai plus Fa for Fa. Okay, so Kafa is Kai Fa, and he said, and this is what he said: Wretched Daphnis, uh, tit to Tachii. So um, what? So why? Are you melting away? So why are you wasting away? Why are you pining? Now Priapus, of course, uh, um, knows wh what's going on, but nonetheless, so he's, this is a rhetorical question on his part, really. He knows what what is actually what the cause of the problem is, but he asked it anyway, and he says, "Hey, Kura." Kora for Kura, the, the maiden, 
uh, now this verb is down here and the sentence gets broken here by the refrain so the maiden for a tie passive from forio to carry so the maiden is being carried so while for you the maiden well, the, the two here is actually the object of the participle, which we're not going to get till down here, so we have to hang on to that. So the maiden is carried, posin on her feet, pasas anakranas, around all of the springs and all of the groves. And then we get the, res, the res, refrain again, archetypal kolikas, moisai, philai, archety, das. And then, then there's amazing enjambment. The key point, the key word of the whole thing is tsetesa. Now this is from tsetio, normally with an eta here. This is the participle from seeking. And the object of that is right up here, the two. So she's looking for you. This is a very interesting line. So this girl that presumably he's in love with is being carried on her feet around the springs and around the groves looking for you. Ah doceros tis agan kai americanus esi. Oh and lot lots been written on this doceros. <laughs> um oh uh, you who are that's that tis here, you are someone who is doceros, well perhaps cursed in love and esi you are this is the second person singular from the verb to be. Americanos, you are perhaps beyond help. So you are cursed in love and you are beyond help. You get a men and a de here. Elegu, this is a passive. So you are said, understand, to be a butas. Um, so you are spoken of as a. Um, uh, an ox herd, but now at Oikas you resemble a man who is a goat herd. So I think pre presumably the idea is that the uh, the goat herd is several levels lower than the ox herd. So you're behaving like a stupid goat herd. Um, hoi polos for ho. Um, uh, I polos. So for the goat herd, hock the hottie when es hora he looks upon tas mekadas. Uh, mekas is a she goat. He looks upon the she goats. Hoya, how they are mounted in a sexual way, of course. Um, Taketai of the most. This is accusative plural. Uh, it is. Or he, the goat herd, Takatai, literally is melted in respect of his eyes. And this probably means weeps, so sheds tears, because he himself was not born a tragos, a he goat. Arkati bukolikas moisai filai arkati oidas. And you also, when you might look upon the maidens this despite the ending this is us accusative plural but you when you look upon the maidens how they laugh uh, this is just the third person plural ending in this dialect tachii of thalmos literally they are you are melted in your eyes that is you burst into tears because uh, you do not dance you are not dancing with them Toast uden poti lexas thobukalos. Um, the the um, the goat herd, the the ox herd. Um, this poti and papros and that lex here that, that to reply to speak to. So the goat herd um, spoke nothing to them. Toast for tus. These are all the people that have come beforehand. So in other words, he made no answer to them. He gave them no answer. Allah, but um, 
and knew it, he endured or bore. He uh, he bore his um, the bitter love, how to how to of himself. So he bore his own bitter love, and he bore it to the end, Moiras of his fate. So I'll finish that little section there and we'll continue on in a later video.